Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rocky Rocket and welcome back to my reaction series for Freeman's Mind. In the last episode, Freeman decided that he is now a psychopath. So if your grandma likes to go out in uh, camo, if she's wearing camo to Freeman, she is going to die. I just thought I'd let you know, you tell your sweet granny, do not wear that camo uh, jacket outside. There is a madman on the loose. His name is Gordon Freeman. Um, he seemed to get through quite a lot of... Uh, he got through the silo and all the underwater bits. He uh, he went fishing. You know you know those things, those big old fish in uh, Half-Life that just... They're just a pain and you can only kill them with the pistol or the crossbow. He did it with a shotgun. You know, he... you know he, Redneck fishing is what that is. You fish with a shotgun. Uh, I don't remember where he finished off. I think he'd just done that bit where he... Uh, collected the crossbow. Um, so let's see what's in store for us today. I'm going to do three episodes, so let's crack on. Oh, are we sticking with this intro for a bit? He did, he's done a few. Cheers. Get off my screen, advert. So what are my options here? I could shoot down every one of these tentacle things individually. But then they would puke up so much this ramp would turn into a slip and slide of blood. And I just washed that off of me. Again. <laughs> Again. What I want to do is lay that satchel charge in here and watch these things blow up. But call me old fashioned, but I'm still squeamish about setting off explosives underground. I'm Why though? Why? You've already blown up so much. Why? Why do you care? You're a psychopath, Gordon. Psychopaths don't care. They lack empathy. Just do it. I'm sure the studies show. Oh, look, ammo. Ow, shit. I'm boxed in. Yes. Off. Yeah, that fish in the barrel trick doesn't work so well when the fish has a shotgun, does it? <laughs> well, that was interesting. Looks like the aliens are taking a page from the military's book. The military puts soldiers in a box to pop out of. The aliens wait out of the box for me to go into. And it worked! Tactical combat is strange, man. No <laughs> wonder people have to train so much for this stuff. Ah, wet floor. Thank God for that sign. That is the number one hazard around here. Wet floors. Oh. Oh, I hated this area. I spent 20 minutes killing two... I'm just going to call them fish because I don't know what they are. Um, just to realize I didn't need to. I didn't know there was a wet sign floor on the floor, though, to tell you that it's slippy. I didn't know that at all. That's... Is it slippy? Looks slippy. I don't remember. Whoa, shit. These yeah. floors are wet. Yeah. I bet a higher percentage of janitors survive this mess more than any other type of employee. If they were holding a mop, they already had a weapon in their hands. They know the entire building. And they have the keys to everything. What the hell was that? I saw something in the water. And these annoying fucking chittering noises don't inspire confidence that everything's fine. <laughs> that, and it smells like mildew down here, so you know that- Oh! Wait, no! <laughs> oh my god, that is so unfair! Attacking <laughs> while I'm distracted. You're acting like you're trying to kill me! What is wrong with everyone? Huh? I am finding it disturbing how little I'm seeing aliens fight the soldiers or soldiers fight the aliens. Everyone is trying to kill me and unarmed civilians. But you will soon. I'm pretty sure. Yes, I remember times where that happens. You get to watch the glory as everyone fights and it's not aimed at you. How dysfunctional is that? It's like they think if I die, all their problems will magically be solved. <sighs> what are they oh. thinking? When the Japanese invaded Pearl Harbor, was our first priority to send the troops in to start killing off all the remaining dock workers? No, it wasn't. Oh, that looks dangerous. And it's refreshingly non-subtle. Okay, people, <laughs> let's see your options. McIntyre, you first. Well, I don't really want to get back in the water this quarter. For starters, I just killed a shark, okay? And I saw something swimming down there, so how can that be good? Knox, what do you think? 
Ah, see, I thought of that too. But the big gaping hole strategy is flawed due to the ragged chunks of metal surrounding it. No, gentlemen, I think there's only one course for our company. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see a fish do this. He's breaking the game again. I like it. I think this proves that in addition to aliens, I am superior to fish as well. <laughs> Damn it. it does make sense for him to do that. I'm starting to get pretty sick of all this swimming. Ah, I don't think this suit's really designed for it. <laughs> no, it's probably heavy on. as hell. I can't have that. That's how Bruce Lee died. Too much water in his brain. Of course, I don't think that happened to him from swimming. No. painkillers or something. But then, something. hey, look at me. I am the Bruce Lee of physics. What? But then, hey, look at me. I am the Bruce Lee of physics. What? Oh, look, there's somebody over there. No, hey, I wasn't <laughs> looking at you. Why would you even think that? What? I just killed you! What is your problem? <laughs> okay, no more making copies of yourself after you're dead. You should have learned about that in school. So, we know what the title of this video is going to be, don't we? I mean, you clicked it. You know what it is. The Bruce Lee of physics. That is brilliant. And I timed my... very well. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate the, uh, yeah, the, um, you, I'm flattered, really. Copies of yourself after you're dead. You should have learned about that in school. Hey, what's this do? Uh-oh. The um, best noises. Off. off. Wait, I was supposed to stop pressing strange buttons, wasn't I? Well, I haven't you learned won't, anything. You won't learn. Oh, is that all it did? That's not so bad. What is this? Knowing us, I bet these machines serve no other purpose than the crack nuts. That button says generator, but give me a break. Why would you have two sets of enormous pistons slamming into each other like that? It's obvious what's going on here. It's the same as the crate smashing room. If we don't spend a billion dollars one year, then we don't get a billion dollars the next year. I've been in a crate smashing room. I did that for 2,000 subscribers. It was great. I just try and smash 10,000 crates. I made about 4,000. It was, it was actually quite a hard game. And, if and it probably did cost Black Mesa many money. Good for them. <laughs> I like that. we don't that. get like a billion dollars the next year. And if we don't get a billion dollars the next year, then we have to go and spend more money on lobbyists to get the laws changed so that we get our billion dollars the year after that. That's and how that works. And nobody wants that because then we might have to compete with other lobbyists. We could get into a bidding war. That's how democracy works. On the other hand, the nutcracker room here is a sure thing. I make fun of it, but in the long run, it's probably faster and cheaper just to build a giant nutcracker, write it off, and be done with it. Ah. Wait, there what? Oh, you're gonna jump up there, aren't you? Yep. And if I had known about this place earlier, I'd have been tempted to get a dead pig, dress it up in a lab uniform, then throw it into the crushers here. Freak everybody out. You wouldn't be able to identify a damn thing without a lab report. The pig would probably be drained of blood, though, so I'd have to pick up some donor packs from Eddie to do it right. Ah! What tangents! Tangents that hurt me. What? Probably be drained of. You wouldn't be able to identify a damn thing without a lab report. The pig oh, will probably be drained of blood, though. So right. I'd have to pick up some donor packs from Eddie to do it right. I'm sorry Jesus if I'm pausing this too much. <laughs> that was hella close to me. Hello. Another foot that would have been inside me. <sighs> Giggity. Maybe that's what the crushers are for. For when those things teleport inside your head and you become a walking xenomorph. They provide a nice, easy way for you to kill yourself. Like the fly. Help me. Oh, no, not, no, you, not the fly. It. Your help isn't any help at all. You're just breaking things. I can do that. <laughs> and I you can do, do that. It better. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Oops. Uh, uh, 
Guess nobody needs that computer now. <laughs> I wonder if I just screwed somebody using our network. Network errors are lame. They're always 404, 503. Why can't there be error 482? Somebody shot the server with a 12 gauge. Please contact your administrator. Oh, uh, quiero un poco de drogas. ¿Dónde están? Tengo dinero. How many languages does Gordon Freeman speak? Yeah, I, I apologize if I'm pausing this too much. I'm supposed to react and add my own twist on the commentary so it look, you know, it's transformative. And also, I like to talk and hear my own voice. What of it? Gordon Freeman, it is you. Oh, isn't you it? speak English. The science team Even is better. tracking your progress with the Black Mesa security system. Unfortunately, so is the military. That suit of yours is full of tracking devices. What? Still, it's better than going what? naked in this place. It's cold in the Tracking there. You'll devices? Have to hurry. It could sap your suit the... power in a matter of moments. I'm being tracked? If you're bent on reaching the Lambda complex, then you'll want to no. see the older industrial areas where the security system is full of holes. What? It's worked for me so far. No, shut up, shut up. What the hell is this? I have tracking devices on me? Yes. No wonder everyone keeps popping out to kill me. That's Why can nobody go. else be bothered to tell me this? You said everyone's monitoring me. That means everyone's in on this. I, I'm gonna need a minute to think about this. <laughs> I like how that's how he ends it though. Okay, Every time. you get to live. That's about all I've decided so far. Yeah, but he gave you valuable so no information. Worries. You're good. He seemed like a lovely gentleman. Save on the Pixel 4a this Black Friday. Now available from 319 I'm never buying that phone. No matter how cheap they try to make it out to be. With a battery that charges fast and lasts all day. Shh. No one cares. My coffee is actually in the way. Ah, no. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay, this is getting real. I'm being tracked. Yes. So my options are to either keep the suit on or I'll strip down. I don't yes. mind walking around naked, but I do mind bullets. If I keep the suit on, I'll still have people trying to kill me, which I'm kind of used to anyway. But if I take it off and I get shot, then that's it. I'm fucked. You know what I'm saying, man? You should. You don't even have a weapon. And don't think I'm going to give you one. Well, I'm not stripping in front of you in case you're wondering. <laughs> so many damn people in this building. Whoa, drafty. Don't mind being okay. naked. Don't want anyone oh to see God, me. Oh my God, it's cold over here. <sighs> Is this 10 fucking Kelvin? That was fun. That was great. Rusty. Well, I was wrong about one thing. Those aliens are not from a swamp planet. Anything that can. Oh my god. This whole neighborhood's going to hell. But with the gangs. Yep. Can't even walk down the street of your own planet anymore. <laughs> I remember the good old days when I didn't oh, have yeah. to bring oh, a gun stop to it. work. My co-workers weren't space bugs. I had a salary. I wasn't wanted by the government. Then you happened. Ow! Was I shot in the back of the... Vorticons no are lovely. I mean, no you'll find that out. Maybe. Goddamn outworlders are ruining this country. You see, Gordon's not... This, this Gordon might not realize what he has done by the end of this. I have been told and hinted to that the crazy that is now is not even a scratch on what the crazy will be in the future. And I'm very much looking forward to how crazy Ross can get. Sorry. Dr. Freeman. There was a time when we'd put you all in cages. And if it was up to me, it'd still be that way. Wow. Some of you keep zapping me with electricity. That means you're a power source. We should be taking advantage of that. Okay. It's also waste. Freeman, right? Yeah. I have a message for you. Make sure you don't. Oh. Duh. 
Okay, 10-4. I'll be sure not to do that. <laughs> uh, my intuition tells me that wasn't the full message. No. Something about him killing himself to make a point doesn't add up. Okay, that so... And the silenced gunshot makes me think there's something devious going on here. Aha! Hmm. I don't see anyone. Oh no, what? I am very... I'm ready for this. This is going to be interesting because these guys... Girls are... Bastard bitches. When it comes down to the combat. So maybe it's on easy mode. Maybe the problem went away. Maybe I willed it out of existence. Maybe. Maybe he was the magical sniper fairy that comes and gives silenced hollow point rounds to people who don't eat their vegetables. That was one of the Grimm's tales, right? Ah, yeah. Ow, ah, ow, 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 ow. Ninjas! These aren't Ninja. fairies, they're ninjas! Oh my move, god! Move, move. In order to beat a ninja, I have to, <laughs> to think, think like a ninja. <laughs> yes! In order to beat a ninja, I have to think like a ninja. Fucking love that. Brilliant. Like, 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 double back. I changed electron orbits. You think I can't find you? <laughs> Fucking ninjas, man. Oh, ninja in the closet. Ninja in the closet. Oh, some ammo. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Ninjas, man. I was not ready for ninjas. <laughs> oh, I Who love is it. ready for ninjas? No one. They're ninjas. I've never even seen a ninja until today. Because they're so nice ninjury. Story. They're probably already gone. Disappeared in the smoke. Oh, nope. Well, this settles it. Black Mesa is a James Bond villain company. Yep, it is. missiles, robots, yep. lasers, yep. sharks, and yep. ninjas. Yep. Ah, surface access. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, maybe I'll level this place. Whoa. Holy shit. It's morning. <laughs> How did I not notice this? Man, I am tripping balls. It's been a while. I'm moving way too fast. Something's wrong with my brain. We know. It's like that experiment where they kept a guy underground in a cave for a few weeks with no time reference, and his body adjusted to a 25-hour cycle. Can someone link that to me? I'd love to read about that. Oh, here we go. Except in my case, my body's waiting to go... <laughs> Hey, it opened. What was I thinking about? Oh, yeah, I need a watch. Eh, ah. That's okay. Watches are cheap. So what should I do about this suit? What with the ninjas tracking me and all? I'm starting to like how it's painted bright orange. Yeah, it makes, it makes you really camouflaged. The torso instead of the head. So should I take it off or leave it on? I don't know. The stripper's dilemma. <laughs> if I wasn't a fugitive, I could publish a paper on this and get some money. I'll wait and keep it on until I find a car, then ditch it. I would actually uh, read a paper called The Stripper's Dilemma. It seems racy. Ow! Cut it out! <laughs> oh yeah! That room. That is interesting. Now, I'm There's so many things in Half-Life that are going to make this interesting. Go on, Google Pixel. No. No. <laughs> Google Pixel. Sick of seeing all these YouTube ads where people are trying to get you into their free live training that always. Episode zero. What? New intro. Okay. What? Huh? So, I'm the one no. who gets to go through training. 
He's Ass doing it as a flashback. Slappage. Ass slappage? What? Hello and Hello. welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Oh wait, course, you're not where real. you'll be trained in the use of the hazardous environment. Damn it. Suits. I am your holographic assistant. Yeah, holographic. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. Jackass. If you see one of these buttons, press it. Okay. And hello and welcome to the oh, come on. Hazard Course. You tell me to press the button and that just resets the, the audio? Yeah, that's great programming there, guys. This thing looks heavy. Welcome to the HEV Mark 4 protected Doing a little bit of movement to make it look like he's putting it on. Good shit. Like it. I like that he's Whoa. using the training as like a dream he's having while he's knocked out. Well, I guess I'm done with training then. That was easy. Ah, I am not impressed so far. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting. Whoa, how's this being projected? A to <laughs> I don't see any projectors. Movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. Yeah, nothing. I will see you just around the corner. Okay, well that does impress me. <laughs> nano emitters or something. I don't know. Man, tech like that kind of contrasts with all this rusted metal and worn down concrete. That is Maybe very this true. Training isn't a joke. Who knows? Um, you know, maybe they made it out of this shit in a really rundown part so that they could shoot at you and blow you up. I don't know. Well, I seem to be passing with flying colors so far. Beautiful. Mm. Well done. Bar Good job. Window. Ah, this must be the gimp closet for after hours. I don't think I'm going to come back here. Too many no. weirdos. Yeah, the only I reason think... I'm here is because everyone else on the team is too damn frail to do any physical activity whatsoever. So because I can lift a box, I'm automatically the lab the gopher. The move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. Commands. It helps huh? for a running start. <laughs> oh I knew that was coming. And then try it yourself. That is damn impressive holography though. I'll give him that. Okay. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Nope. Boop. Boop. Ah. Good boop. Work. Who said that? No. Please proceed to the next area. Please proceed to the next area. Very good impression. Let's listen to that one again. No. Please proceed. Please proceed to the next area. Please proceed to the next area. I bet you've never done a hurdle in your life, fat boy. Wow. Wow, I'm insulted. I'll have you know, I stepped over my cat this morning to get into the fridge. Athletic god. Everyone here thinks they're an expert. You will now <laughs> duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode. Right. Minimizing movement noise. Stealth mode. Stealth mode. That must be our marketing department's way of saying we have rubber padding around the knees of the suit. <laughs> I bet this suit is expensive, though. Kind of makes me wonder why I need it. I don't disarm bombs for a living. No, you are a very overqualified lab assistant by the look of things. You push... A thingy into lasers. But you have to be in a room with the big thingy and the lasers. You need that suit. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Move on to the next area. Yeah, whatever, Tubby. Don't make me come up there. Why is that guy watching me? Does he think <laughs> I'm going to cheat and cut through the pipes? Now we will combine skills. Oh! You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This will prepare you for the next room, where you will have to do both moves at the same time. No. Getting crazy now. Can <laughs> I handle this? Should I duck or jump? I can't remember. Good work. You look prepared. Don't patronize me. And who's that with you? What the hell? There's a panel of you people? You're going to start holding up scores next? I am, um, this is, is this crazy because he's doing the actions and obviously they're talking to a player of a game, but if they were talking to a human being, he'd be like, oh my God, what do I do? Do I jump the one that's high or do I crouch under it? Oh no, the dilemma. I'm supposed to be a scientist. Are you mocking me? But, uh, you know, he's playing it off really well. I like it. I expect tens. I better see tens. To get into these yeah, parts, I think I get the idea. Don't worry about it. How stupid do they think we are? <laughs> I guess pretty stupid. She's going into detail. And while you're in midair... <laughs> 
And why are there pictures of batteries inside the pipes? Yeah, that is- I was gonna ask. Damn straight it is. Who do they think's taking this? Oh, huh. Well, that's creative. Kind of like crawling backwards through a mini golf course. I always wanted to do that, be a hamster man. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. To wipe your ass, first orient your hand behind <laughs> yourself, then move it forward or backward. Honestly, who doesn't know how to use a ladder? I mean, it's a ladder. Somehow oh I don't think this program God. is designed for the gifted. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Watch this. What? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. You're filming this? Great. <laughs> such a fucking twat <laughs> he is literally like i i i i don't know whether i believe gordon and what he's been through and where he's learned things i don't know but, but, but then again he's a scientist that works in a top secret underground uh facility so i i expect eccentricities yeah i know that word what of it great work i know now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn oh rabbit style but only a training course master can perform that long jumping requires its own charging module cool to activate your long jump you will have to duck and move forward and then launch into a jump once you're up on the platform press the button and i will demonstrate the move damn this thing's bulky makes me wonder what the hell it's used for man I don't see any projectors and that thing's running around like it's a ghost. Wish I had one for the lab. I could scare the crap out of people. Whoa! Whoa! That was awesome! I'm doing that again. Woohoo! Hell yeah! Who needs a reason when this module's that much fun to use? Never take it off, Gordon. Sweet. Government funding kicks ass. <laughs> I still want a hologram, though. How cool would it be to set one up in the lab so that when one of the scientists walks in, sits down, starts working, I have a hologram of a homeless guy run up and try and stab him with a knife. People would be spilling their coffee, that's for sure. I could hide some speakers to make an audio clip sync up with the hologram. Then they would hear the bum's footsteps and him going, Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I, I instantly thought of the hologram from, uh, you know, Anna, uh, Anna de Armas from uh, Blade Runner 2049. Ah, that seems like a fun one to me. Um, I could fall in love with a hologram if it looked like a... Uh, uh, yep. Um, <laughs> but a homeless guy that comes in and tries to stab you with a knife. Sounds... Uh, that sounds like Gordon Freeman in this universe, doesn't it? Yeah. People would crap their pants, man. I'd need a hidden camera, too. Please start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use key. Sure, you want me to press a button? I'll press a button. I can press buttons all day! You do! You do, and now you constantly don't know what they are for! One way down. Where? Find the target on the floor below, and do your best to hit it. What? If you take any damage from the fall, we will blood. administer medical care at the next station. <laughs> what? Is this a joke? They no, want bring me your to leg. jump from this height on the flat concrete? Yeah. There must be a typo with the instructions or something that no one corrected. I could climb down, but they want me to hit that target. I'm not doing that. That's retarded. <laughs> so I guess I failed the lemming portion of the test, but <laughs> hopefully that's not required to pass the whole course. Well, training's over. I think I'll get out of here and go take my lunch break. What? I'll just tell everybody I passed training. No one's going to check this. <laughs> you know what? That's the most sane thing he's done the entire time. Wait, you want me to jump off and break? No, I'm not. Why would it? It's 20 feet. I'm not. Are you dumb? No, I'm not. I'm, as he said, lemming training. Brilliant. Fantastic. Well, that was three episodes. I did not expect episodes. I was told that episode zero exists. I just didn't know when it was. But the fact that he's using it as like a, uh, like a dream he's having while he's been knocked unconscious. Fantastic. But uh, that is all I have time for for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Look after yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Bye.